we will Dynamax the Grimmsnarl here and you know I haven't seen a Dynamax Grimmsnarl that wasn't G-Max Grimmsnarl in a long time YouTube today we're going to be using a brand new team in the early start of the Battle Stadium season ladder and today we are going to try out a Wonder Room strategy with Blissey. If you don't know what Wonder Room is, it is basically a move kind of like Trick Room or Magic Room where there's five turns but the effect is that both the Pokemon's defense and special defense stats are swapped. So normally Blissey does have massive special defense, not really great physical defense, but with Wonder Room, we could change that around. I don't know if this is going to work. We'll see how it goes. But if you do enjoy the videos, be sure to leave a like down below, leave a comment down below. It really does help me out. And if you want to check out the details of the team and the creator down below in the description. But let's get started and play some games. Kallax, Shadow Rider, Glastrier, Zacian, Regieleki, Incineroar Diggersby. What is this team? I'm so lost in this one. All right. Uh, what can I go here? Because there is a lot of problems right here with uh, Eleki plus the Calyrex, I guess. That would be a pretty terrifying lead. I guess I have to go with Grimmsnarl then. Grimmsnarl alongside... You know Garchomp's not too bad in this matchup, actually, now that I think about it. I don't know if I want to bring it, though. It's good against, like, Eleki stuff. But it's really... I mean... Oh, can Blissey with Wonder Guard could put in some work here. I don't know if I can set that up properly. Maybe I could. I'm going to try out Grimmsnarl plus and I think, immediately. With Blissey and Kallax remaining in the back. The ultimate goal is to get rid of the Eleki as quick as possible. Because that Eleki is pretty massively a threat right here. Now, I don't know if they have Helping Hand on their team. I think their Kallax is probably like Speed Swap or something. Like, I would imagine Speed Swap or maybe Trick Room on the Kallax. If Trick Room on the Kallax, that's actually kind of awkward. But I do think if I bring Grimmsnarl, I might as well commit to the Blissey here because I think mean, the Blissey is probably stronger. I'd imagine that the four they bring is going to be Kallax, Zacian, Incineroar, Reggie, Eleki. I don't think Diggersby is that great against my team. Maybe I could be wrong, but I feel like Celestial is a little bit of a problem to their team, so they probably expect me to bring it. So they're going to bring the Eleki and Incineroar to counteract the Celestial. That's pretty difficult for them to actually damage uh, with the others. Uh, we're going to see the Incineroar Kallax lead. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. I'm going to be able to go for Grimmsnarl in Zacian here. And yeah, unless they go for a per unless they go for Protect Flare Blitz here, Burning Jealousy. Oh man, that's an option though. That is an option. A uh, Kallax lead might have been better, but no, this is still not too bad. I think I can go for a Spear Break into their Kallax slot and a Behemoth Blade. I don't know if they want to switch out. They could. Uh, doesn't really matter too much to me, I think, at the moment. And instead, it's just really tough to damage themselves. But yeah, let's spear break here and let's go for Behemoth Blade. We get burned, unfortunate, but I don't know what their set is. We're going to see Fake Out come out into the Grimmsnarl. Nice, okay. And a Asha Barrage. That's cool. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. I do get to break a potential Focus Ash. I get some decent chip off into their team, which is cool. And I can preserve my... Zacian for the later parts of this game. I think I go for a Thunder Wave here into the Kallax upcoming and I want to switch out. I really do want to switch out the following turn. Labyrinth is going to hurt though. I don't have a switch. I go for Thunder Wave here and I think I protect actually. Yeah, Thunder Wave protect isn't that bad because I imagine the Kallax should be probably protecting. I don't know what the Incineroar is going for though. Could Parting Shot to reposition? Could Flare Blitz one of my slots to pick up the Knockout? I don't think you knock out Grim, but we'll see here, I guess. They don't know what I'm going for, though. They don't. That's a big positive here. But I can't really do much other than, I guess, Spear Break the Ensign. But I'd rather just Thunder Wave the Calyrex if I can. Is that Dynamax coming out? Okay, I was not expecting a Dynamax to come out. This is Dynamax from the Incineroar. Okay. That's actually kind of rough for me. <laughs> that is actually kind of rough for me. All right. Incineroar Dynamax, it is. What are you going for? Axe it protects like I expected. All right. Uh, who are you flaring here? Because that's actually a pretty big question. I do protect the Zacian right here. This is going to be a Thunder Wave into the Calyx attempt. And uh, we're going to see a Max Flare into the Zacian. Okay. So that's fine. Yeah, that works out fine for me. All right. I expect the Kallax to switch out. Probably. Eleki? Maybe. I could go for a Spear Break here. I don't want to... Okay. 
Yeah, I think I Thunder Wave here and I think I go for a Behemoth Blade here into the Calyrex because I don't want to miss. I have to rely on two inaccurate moves here potentially. Yeah, I might as well just go for it here. Now, let's see. They stay in, which is nice. I get Thunder Wave in and Behemoth Blade off. Okay, so Calyrex is gone. It's not the setup for the Blissey I wanted, but still not a bad thing here. Uh, we are going to be able to knock out the Calyx and then maybe with our uh, Blissey we can actually put in some work especially with the Max Flare and a Wonder Room could surprise them a lot here. All right. Goodbye the Calyx. So Calyx is gone. The Grim Snarl going to get the second turn of Dynamax attack here. It's going to be a Max Flare into who? Into the Zacian. Yep. Okay, cool. So Zacian going to not appreciate that but this is fine now i can actually go for the wonder room strat here we're gonna go out into blissey and uh find out if this actually works we're gonna go for a max flare here into wait that's not zashin that's last three air that is not what i expected at all all right blissey comes in i'm gonna go for wonder room oh man fake taste would be so good here but there's not really a point of going for it here i'm gonna go for a max strike here into a yeah, max strike in the wonder room here. Yeah, we want we want the max strike damage in the instant, and then I think that's for the double kick strat. Yeah, that's what we want. So I think that's the best play here. And oh boy, let's just see how much damage because I'm not really too worried about the glass tree air. I'm more worried about the Zacian in the back. But we'll find out. We do bring out our Blissey here, and we are max striking the instant. So next turn I can go for a double kick potentially and. Uh, Max strike combination that would be able to do a lot of damage here a wonder room is set up so now we do have a pretty high physically defensive blissey right here a max strike is going to come out then instant or slower okay that's a pretty slow instant i get a decent hit off with the max strike okay that's pretty big damage okay maybe i don't have to go for the double kick then immediately knuckle oh that's actually so good for me i think Max Knuckle does a lot to the Blissey, okay. Oh, wait, this is really weird, I guess. <laughs> this it has close combat. Wait, the incident has close combat. I did get the policy activation. What are they going for though? Okay. Iron Defense. It's body press. Oh, what? <gasps> what are we dealing with right now? What are we doing? Okay, this is close combat. This is so awkward here. I guess I could still fake tears. Uh, no, this should still work, actually. I can go for a max strike into the Incineroar, and I could go for the fake tears into the... The Glass Trier. Yeah, no, this should still work fine. Okay, we're going to go for a max strike in the Incin. If they switch out, that's cool, too, because they take a lot of damage into their Zacian slot. The max strike in the Thunder Wave, maybe slows down the Zacian just enough for Blissey to outspeed. This is still a pretty powerful attack. We do get a fake tears off into Calyx or not Calyx, the Glass Trier here. I don't think body press KOs either at uh, even a plus two. A Max Strike is going to come out into the... What is this team? All right, a Max Strike going to come out into the Zacian. A really good hit here. Puts in the range of Calyx, I think. Uh, does Thunder Wave allow me to outspeed the Zacian? That's a good question here. Snarl. Uh, Snarl, Iron Def What is this Glass Street here? I'm in Master Ball tier, so I'm actually, like, confused. This is, like, a 400 rated player. All right. Uh, Grim Snarl, what are you, like, what's my... Blissey should outspeed the Zacian. Okay. So we can go for a Thunder Wave here, and we can go for the Max Flare. Yeah. I bet they don't outspeed... Uh, don't expect my Blissey to outspeed here. I haven't revealed Thunder Wave at all yet, either. I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave into a Max Flare because I think that is the optimal way to set this up. I'm pretty sure. Unless they switch back to Instant. But they switch back to Instant, I can still threaten a Hyper Beam. It's not too bad, I suppose. And if they Protect, I do KO to Protect. We do get the Thunder Wave off into Zacian. Please tell me the numbers work in my favor. It would have to be a really fast Zacian, I think. Okay, nice. Max Flare going to come out into their Zacian. Going to be able to pick up the knock on the Zacian. Huge! Uh, Wonder Room is actually coming into play here. We're going to see a Snarl once again. Okay, that's fine. That's really fine. I want one fake tears into their their Glass Tree Air. So my Calyx with Astral Barrage should be able to AO it right here. Iron Defense Snarl. 
support Glastry here. That's not a Pokemon you would expect to have it right there. But all right. The Incineroar coming out. This Incineroar has close combat. And I bless he was faster than the Incineroar before. Now, I hope it's not some speed type because if it's some speed type, it's actually really... That really makes it awkward for my side, actually. That would make it really awkward for my side. Uh, the Blissey should be fine. We're going to go for the fake tears into the Calyrex. Or not Calyrex. Thing here. Oh, we don't have Protect. All right. Hyper Beam into the Incineroar for Chip. We do need to Chip anyway. Fake out going to come out into the uh, Blissey, which makes sense here. We are going to get a fake tears off into their... Glass Trier. So now it's a minus four Glass Trier. I imagine Ash Broad should always finish it off. Body Press going to come out. Do we survive is a question. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait. Pokemon's defense and special defense are swapped for five turns. Does that include the stat drops? I, I thought the stat drops aren't changed here. Wait, I don't... Now, now I'm confused. Am I getting screwed over by Wonder... Okay, that's fine. Is this the last turn of Wonder Room? This is the last turn of Wonder Room. Okay. So I always get a spear break off in the instant, I guess, for Chip. And I guess I go for the Hyper Beam. <laughs> Did you see that body... <laughs> Even I don't know what's going on. Like... Someone please explain to me in the comments down below because I think I got Wonder Room confused somehow. I thought like, there's no way Body Press does that little, right? It's plus two defense. Even if Calyrex's defense and special defense are swapped, it shouldn't be that little damage with a plus two. I think the stat boosts don't get affected or the stat increases, but the actual stats of the number before the stats are, or before the boosts are actually accounted for the drops. What just happened? I, I don't know, but <laughs> we do take the win there, I guess. Uh, Wonder Room Strat, I guess, pulled off some work. <laughs> Incineroar, Reelaboom, Rayquaza, Zacian, Amoongus, Gastron. Huh, this is a really unique team because I can't tell if that's going to be... I think it's going to be special Rayquaza, but I can't really tell based on this. I do... Let's see, damage output is actually kind of goes insane here. Like, it really does. Amoongus is annoying because I can't really set up, like, my Blissey super well without it. I do like a Grimstall Zacian lead, actually. Yeah, Grimstall Zacian lead actually seems really solid. And then Blissey Calyx in the back. I do like Celesteela, too. But the thing about Celesteela is... I don't know if I really want to opt for it here. Because, I mean, technically it is optimal. But, I mean, uh, we're trying to showcase a Blissey in this. So, I might as well just go with the Blissey. And I think I could win with the Blissey. I think uh, setting up a policy Blissey would actually be pretty strong here as a Dynamax mod. I don't think I really need Celesteela too much right here. And yeah, because Blissey can just stretch in really big knockouts right here. I don't know if I'm going to go for like, it's just kind of weird because I'm thunder waving with things and then the Blissey isn't really that fast. It's not going to outspeed anything. However, we can slow down my opponent's team, I suppose, and get Wonder Rooms off if they are able to airstream. I do want to get rid of that Rayquaza because once I get Rayquaza, I feel like it's a pretty big safety net for a uh, Wonder Room Blissey to actually put in a ton of work here. Gonna see the Incineroar Rayquaza lead. Okay, this is perfect. All right. I'll just go for damage. I really just need damage into Rayquaza. I'm gonna go for Behemoth Blade and a Thunder Wave here into the Rayquaza. I think that's a pretty strong play. I don't know if they have... I mean, I could also just switch out into Calyrex, but I mean, that's not terrible either. But I don't know who they're targeting here. If they're gonna fake out the Grim Snop, trying to deny like a, a Thunder Wave or a Scary Face, or if they're gonna target the Zacian. I think either way it would be okay. So let's go for that Thunder Wave into the Zacian slot. And let's go for a Behemoth Blade also into Zacian. Or, or into the Rayquaza. Let's just go for that damage output into the Rayquaza with Thunder Wave Behemoth Blade. Slow down that Rayquaza if possible. And if not, just get a bunch of damage into it. I also don't know if Ray can actually pick up the Knockout. Unless it's like a Life Orb set into Grim Snarl here. Which would be pretty big. And Zacian should be able to survive any attack from Ray barring Life Orb as well. So the Ray has to be Life Orb in order to pick up some Knockouts right here. Dynamax comes out from the Ray here. Let's see what they decide to go for. It is going to be a fake out going to come out from the Incineroar into... They do target the Grimmsnarl. Okay, that's still pretty good for me. I'm able to get a big Behemoth Blade off into the Rayquaza. This is huge damage. I got to watch out though because Incineroar damage output is a little bit spooky. But we do get a good hit into Ray here. And it is going to be an Airstream going to be targeting down the Grim. Looks like they doubled the Grim. Does this pick up the Knockout? It does. Okay, that should be Life Orb then confirmed, right? I think this should always confirm life up here. 
Okay, they get an airstream boost. That means I probably want to get in Calyrex. I don't want to get in Blissey. A lot of damage. Yeah, it is life up on the Ray. Okay. I think I go out into Calyrex right here. I want to say it's Calyrex and Trick Room. I want to set up for Blissey really badly. I don't know how I'm going to really arrange this. I do want to go... Hmm. Maybe I go Blissey and just protect. Well, the thing is, they can threaten him into the knock on my Zacian, so I don't really like that. You know what? I'm going to go hard into Calyx. I'm going to go, go hard Calyx here and try out a Astral Barrage here. It's not a bad play, I suppose, either with my Calyx, and I can protect Zacian here. I guess it's not too bad either, but if they Quake here, they do get the boost. I don't think they live, though, actually. You know what? I'm going to Astral Barrage and protect. They have to double up my Calyx in order to pick up the knockout, and I still get the knock on Ray, I'm pretty sure, very safely here. I guess dealing with Dare's option is going to be a really big headache, though. Uh, let's see. They're going to go for the Quake here. Yep, makes sense. They're going to get the special defense boost. They are going to target down my Zacian. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I could get a Wonder Room strat off, and then afterward, because they didn't target down my Calyx here. Assuming I KO the Ray here with the Astro Barrage, which I feel like I should. It's super low right now. I do expect to KO onto the Ray here. All right, don't. Okay. Throw chop into the Calyx. Oh, that's so annoying. I would have prefer. Actually, it. Yeah, no, this is not great. Okay. I'm going for the Wonder Room right here. And I guess we go Blissey. Actually, yeah, this is the play now. Please target down my Zacian here with the Quake. Well, I think they do still. Because I don't think they want to target the Calyrex with a Sacred Sword that could threaten the Incineroar here. Uh, let's see if this is going to be the case. I'm hoping to get the Wonder Room off. Because if this is Earth... I'm thinking this is Earth Power Life for Bray. And that's the case. A uh, Blissey should be able to take it just fine. Didn't I get the Wonder Room? So now I have like Max. A lot of defense, let me just say, onto the Blissey. And then I still have the Zasha plus one that can threaten a lot of damage while the Blissey can still actually, like, you know, tank attacks here, hopefully. So we are going to see a Max Quake be fired off. It should be, I think this always has to be into the Zasha. Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, it is our power. Okay. Or it's based off our power. Earthquake would have done a lot more. So that's a nice gamble that I did end up paying off right here. We are going to be able to get a Wonder Room right here. And that is pretty big because... That Wonder Room might allow us without the Blissey to actually put in some work here. Let's find out if that's going to be the case. A Wonder Room is going to be fired off from the Calyx right here. Okay. So now we have Defense and Special Defense are swapped, but they do have the boost. Drochop is going to KO the Calyx. That's fine. Okay. All right. Remaining Pokemon here. Upcoming. Going to be the Zacian and going to be the... Uh, whatever i guess remaining is i don't know what the last one specifically is going to be but uh hopefully they try to go for the sacred sword into the blissey because uh if they sacred sword my blissey that would be amazing but if they don't uh it could be a little bit awkward uh, we're gonna see the zashin come in for their side okay let's see a blissey 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 can you do it can you do it can you go for a ko into the zashin right here if we can ko the zashin that'd be great here I think their sword went off first. I think I just protect with my Zacian. And I think I always go for a... I think I... Oh, man. I don't know. Do I go for a flare here? Or, I feel like I strike here. I think I strike the Zacian. Yeah, I'm going to strike the Zacian. Because there's a chance they go for Behemoth Blade into my Zacian slot. If they switch out here into Gastron, that's fine too. Okay. I don't mind that because I get chipping the Zacian to maybe put in range of Behemoth Blade, which is cool as well. They also didn't go for the parting shot, which is really nice here. Okay. If they went for a Sacred Sword, though, it's... I guess if they went for a Sacred Sword into Blissey, it doesn't matter because then I'll have plus two on the Blissey. I get the Max Strike off into the Zacian. Then I can go for a plus two Max Strike into the Gastron and the Behemoth Blade into the Zacian and threaten. Yeah, I think that's okay. I don't think that's bad at all, actually. Uh, we are going to see what come out from their side. Uh, Zacian protects. Okay. So that works out. That's actually pretty good for me. All right. I'm able to get a protect off with the Zacian. We go for the max strike here into their Zacian. Okay, cool. Now, next turn, I think I want to double up the Gastrodon, right? With a max strike plus play rough. Yeah, I think that's the play. Because they might switch into Incineroar for the Zacian slot. And I don't want to I don't want to be him play the Incineroar just to reset the stats right here. But yeah, we are going to go for a... 
player off into the gastron and we're gonna go for a max strike into the gastron i guess there is a chance they go for the protective gastron but i feel like you might want to try to take the knockout into the zashin while you can or get the damage off let's see they do retreat to zashin and incineroar makes a lot of sense here yep okay i guess i could sacred sword by uh blissey too to activate the pause actually that might have been the play now that i think about it hold up that actually would have been pretty decent here Okay, no, but I do get the play rough though into the Gaston. Okay, I think Hyper Beam should KO, right? It's a Blissey. I don't know, actually. Does this KO the Gaston? It does. Okay, so I do get the speed drop guaranteed here. Not bad. All right. Not bad. All right, Gaston goes down. This is a close one, Blissey. This is a close one. Oh, boy. I need you to put in some weight here. Also, how many times of Wonder Room do we have? Uh, that's, actually, that's actually pretty important here. Zashin comes in. Okay. If they go for Sacred Sword, we're fine. If they go for Behemoth Blade, plus he should eat. Hopefully. How many turns? How many turns? Uh, two turns of Wonder Room. Okay. We still are safe here. We go for the Protect here. We go for a Max Strike into the Incineroar here. Let's see. Oh boy. This end game could be pretty scary. And I mean, really scary. Depend. The next couple of turns are going to be terrifying, but we'll find out. Uh, we do go for the protector's option if they double up my blessy it really depends on what moves they decide to go for here make out going to come out into the zashin okay that's a really good thing here and it went for behemoth blade into the blissey okay that's not too bad okay so behemoth blade is going to be fired off into blissey how much damage are you doing to my blissey wow we ate that up <laughs> and i mean we ate that up all right here comes a max strike into the incineroar Good damage to the Incineroar is in Sacred Sword range. Or I could go for the Hyper Beam. That isn't a bad play either. Actually, Hyper Beam might be the play. Because you would target my Zacian if you're with your Zacian, right? Yeah, I think you would. Or I could double up their Zacian with Behemoth Blade plus a... I think... Because you don't protect Zacian here, right? Because if I attack your Incineroar with Sacred Sword, you just lose the game 100%, right? I don't think you ever protect Zacian in this position. I think you always attack your... The question is with what you attack i don't know actually sacred sword is probably the safest play anyway yeah i'm gonna sacred sword the ensign and i'm gonna fire blast because my logic is that they should probably be either behemoth blade in my zashin which i hopefully survive or they go for a oh let's find out sacred sword i hope i live behemoth blade i think i should survive this is a bulky zashin so i do expect it to live behemoth blade and if that's the case i should be able to win the game behemoth blade gonna come out from their zashin into probably my zashin i'd imagine here gonna be behemoth blade into my zashin okay oh no not enough oh jeez. okay i'm i get oh wait no they're plus one right they're plus one. I guess I don't. No, that was a mistake then. No, I should have fire blasted their Zashin and Behemoth Blade the Zashin. If I went for that, I'd been fine. Yeah, because then Behemoth Blade and the Fire Blast does KO their Zashin. And then Incineroar can go for an attack. Blissey probably survives, I would say, with the Wonder Room. And then afterward, I could Hyper Beam. Oh, that was so bad. Yeah, I kind of had a reason of logic, but it just didn't work out. Especially since the Incineroar's might as well in speed. I think Blissey probably outsped the Incineroar. Oh, that's a huge mistake that I made. All right, close, close. I can't believe I messed with that end game. Yeah, Fire Blast. Behemoth Blade was probably the play there, always in the Zashin. I knew that the Zashin wasn't protecting there. And I think like what I was ex I was worried about was like, if they if they went for the Behemoth Blade and my Blissey for, if they went for the Behemoth Blade and my Blissey or Sacred Sword and my Blissey, they pick up the knock on the Blissey. Then Incineroar can go for the Flare Blitz into my Zashin. So it really depended on who their Zashin was targeting. So I guess it technically isn't a throw there because I don't know which slot they're specifically targeting there. I guess my Zashin is way more threatening than my, than my Blissey in their eyes. So yeah, it kind of makes sense. So yeah, I guess I guess still targeting down. I think their Zashin is the better play overall there. Oh, so close. So close. And maybe I could have self-activated policy earlier too because I think if I self-activate policy instead of going for a play rough double up, if I went for the Sacred Sword into my Blissey, I went for the Max Strike into their Gastrodon, then I have the plus two Blissey that could have gotten either the Fire Blast KO onto their Zashin earlier. I'm pretty sure I would have lived the Sacred Sword plus the uh, Behemoth Blade from their side with Dynamax because I was a um, neutral Zashin at that point. I'm pretty sure I would have been able to take it, but oh, those were two other plays I could have made for, and yeah, that could have changed the game 100%. Venusaur, Torkoal, Porygon 2, Calyx Ice Rider, Palkia, and Indidi. All right, so Sun with Palkia and Calyx Ice Rider, definitely a unique take. 
Porygon is such a big problem for my team. I actually don't have really any good ways to deal with Porygon, so... This is gonna be a very big concerning match right here. I do kind of want to go with the Grimmsnarl lead. I think Grimmsnarl plus the Zacian isn't bad here. And then in the back, I don't think they're going to lay Torkoal Venu, but if they do, it's kind of awkward. I don't think they do because uh, Kallax could be an issue, but we'll see. I'm going to go with the Blissey and the Kallax in the back and just try to hope that I can actually do something with it here. I think that the... I just don't really like Celestia too much because if it's Eerie Impulse... I mean, just, just Porygon's going to be a problem. Porygon's such a big problem for this team. No matter what, the Eerie Impulse is just going to be really difficult to handle. No matter what I bring in the back, where it's Blissey or going to be the Celestia. I might as well bring Blissey because it is a switch into Eruption from the Torkoal because I should be able to take Eruption somewhat okay. If they lead Torkoal plus Porygon too, though, I am screwed here probably. <laughs> but I don't think they're, they are going to lead that. I think that'd be such an obscure lead here. Uh, let's find out though. Uh, maybe I could have led uh, Calyrex immediately, but we're going to see the Indity here. Okay. Indity plus Palkia is not a bad lead for me here. I do lead the Palkia plus the Azashin. We are going to go for... Hmm, what do I want to go for? Probably a... Uh, I don't want to give them the free switch to Torkoal. That's the thing. I'd imagine that it's just going to be follow me trick room here. Yeah, it'd probably be follow me trick room. Are you Psychic Seed on the Indity? You're not. Are you Sash then? Okay. I want to go for a swap to Blissey here actually. No, I don't want to swap to Blissey here, actually. Do I? I could go with a Calyrex so I could reverse Trick Room. Actually, no, because the Zosh is still faster. No, all right. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to look really dumb making this play, but I'm going to do it for purpose. I'm going to Thunder Wave here, and I'm going to go for a play rough into the Palkia. Now, you might be thinking, James, that is a really dumb play. There's Psychic Terrain on the field. I know there's Psychic Terrain on the field. I don't want to take the knock on Indity if the Indity survives here, which I'm hoping it does. Thunderwave, yes, I know. This might also make them think that I am not a very smart player. So a player I've got to come out to Indity. Okay, perfect. And Trick Room does go up. Okay, nice. Now, I have a few turns to work with because now we can go for quite a few things here. I want to go for a Spear Break, I think. Or, hmm. Which one do I want to go for? I do want to go for a Spear Break here. And they do now know that I do have a player that can threaten the Palkia. I didn't want to give them the free switch to Torkoal, which is why I decided to make this play here. I guess I could go for a Spear Break double up here. It's not a bad play, yeah. Spear Break double up is okay here. Uh, this Zacian's really... This Zacian has bulk. I just don't know. I should survive. Ooh, I have a lot of attack. I don't know if I have a lot of spadef. Uh, I think it's worth it, though. I'm going to try it. If they Dynamax the Palkia, it's not too bad for me. Let's see. If they do Dynamax, looks like the Palkia. Okay. So this could be bad, but it could be fine. Now let's find out here. They go for follow me. That's okay. But it depends on what the Palky is going for this upcoming turn. They might try to get rid of the Grimstone. Who knows? Because who knows? But I bet they think I'm, I don't know my thing because they uh, I went for Thunder Wave, but I went for Thunder Wave on purpose there. I don't want to switch into Blissey just yet. Because I want to see. Because I think in order to KO Zacian, you need Life Orb with Max Quake here. Because this is a bulky Zacian. Uh, we are going to be able to get a Spirit Break off into the Indity. Nice. So Indity does go down. Uh, let's find out. Are you Life or Palkia? Because that's a big thing here. The Max Quake is going to be fired off here, which is not too surprising. Into the uh, into the Zacian slot. It is not a knockout. Yeah, it's not Life Orb. Okay, cool. I had a feeling. Play Rough is going to do a lot. It's not going to KO the, uh, KO the Palkia, but it's a lot of damage. Yeah, that's a fantastic amount of damage right there. Uh, does activate a policy. And the reason... Oh, wow. If I went for Spirit Break and they went for Helping Hand, I was uh, in a really rough position right there. But yeah, that works out for me. Okay, cool. And now Calyx Ice Rider is going to come in. And... Or Torkoal, which is an interesting pick right here. Okay, uh, what do I want to do here? I kind of want to bring out... Hmm, how much... That Eruption is going to do a lot of damage. I could go for the Dynamax here if I want to. The Dynamax isn't too bad because I can get the knockout into Palkia. And it's not a terrible spot if I do go for that. But the thing is, then I guess... How many turns of Trick Room do I have left? I guess three? I would have to figure out a way to take on the Torkoal effectively. I guess, yeah, I'm going to Dynamax Starfall. I'm going to Dynamax Starfall. I'm going to go for the Protect here. Let's see if this works. I got to stall out this Trick Room. 
I think if I can get Calyrex in safely with Zacian on the field, I will win this game. So now the question is, can I set that position up properly? We will Dynamax the Grimmsnarl here and... You know, I haven't seen a Dynamax Grimmsnarl that wasn't G-Max Grimmsnarl in a long time. So Dynamax Grimmsnarl gonna come out here. And do you max guard with Palky? I guess is a question too. Oh, you did max guard. That's a problem. Okay. Or is it? It might not be too bad now that I think about it. Let's see. Zashin protects. The eruption gonna be fired off. Okay, maybe this isn't too bad now that I think about it. Hold on. How much damage you do to the Grim? Okay, it's not a knockout. Okay, that's good. All right, I go out into Blissey here and I starfall the Palkia slot. That's always my play here. And then afterward, that's one more. Then there's one more turn of Trick Room after the following. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Dynamax Grimmsnarl. <laughs> you got to consider my options here. But it's not Specs on the Torkoal. That's good to know. They retreat the Palkia, which is fine. Because again, I think that Calyrex Shadow Rider can win this game with Astro Barrage. We are going to see the Calyx come in here. That's fine. I don't mind the Calyx being out here. I am going to get a big hit off in the Calyx. The Starfall isn't... That's... Psychic Seed? Oh, wow. Zashin going to retreat into the Blissey. Okay, Psychic Seed. Not what I expected here. Blissey is going to come in. Our eruption is going to be fired off, which is... Nice, don't crit me. Nice, I do get the Starfall off into there. Calyrex, which is big damage. I think I don't put in range of Astral Barrage though, which is the awkward part. The star... Oh man, if I got the Misty Terrain up a turn earlier, it would have been nice. Okay. And... Let's see, still in a really awkward spot. However, I guess it's not too awkward. I could probably sack here if I want to. Actually, yeah, I could just sack here. I can go for the... Oh, wait, I can't. <laughs> I don't have Protect on the Blissey, right? Uh, this is... I guess this isn't too bad. I wonder how much Ash Barrage does to... Okay, I can go for a Max Guard, I guess, with this Grimmsnarl, and I can go for a... I guess a Fire Blast? Yeah, Fire Blast the Calyrex, I suppose. Let's see what they decide to go for, because I'm going to try to bring in the Calyrex and Ash Barrage the following turn. They go for the Eruption here, which is not too surprising. This is going to do a lot to the Blissey, and then uh, lands here. Unfortunately, Blissey... You will not be able to show off your work, unfortunately, but I did have to Dynamax the Grimmsnarl here. And in order to win this game, I do need my Calyrex Shadow Rider out safely. Now, the reason is I could have got my Zacian next to my Calyrex Shadow Rider in. The problem is if I do make that play here, it's not exactly my best option because then I would have to like... Astro Barrage is not going to KO the Torkoal. I need a little bit of extra chip in the Torkoal and I don't KO the Calyrex with just Astro Barrage. So I probably would have to pick one and it could be really bad if i do pick one right there because if the calyx i try to protect and the torkoal gets a heat wave off i'm in a really rough position and if they get trick them up with the calyx instead i also lose so i do have to make this play i am gonna go for a starfall right a misty terrain yeah so i can always go for a fake tears here into the calyx slot and i can go for the astral barrage which is super safe here astral barrage should two shot the torkoal unless it's a salt vest for some reason and if it's a salt vest i'm not really that concerned about it they go for Protector Calyx. We're in a fine spot. Yeah, I do think that we just win the game here with Fake Tears combination. Uh, let's find out if that's going to be the case. As Fake Tears into the Calyx should be able to allow me to KO with Faster Barrage always. And then I don't think Torkoal can do anything specific to me, especially with a Focus Sash intact and the Misty Terrain. Uh, they do go for the Protector Calyx, which is fine. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to get Zacian in immediately yet. And that's why I max guard the Grimstall since I had the opportunity to. Uh, we will get the Astro Barrage off. In a Torkoal. I guess if this Torkoal actually survives, if this is actually a solve as Torkoal, and it two shots my Calyx with Heat Wave, then it's a problem. But yeah, I do way too much damage to the Torkoal. Jeez. Heat Wave is being fired off here. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. So Grimstall goes down, but I have a Calyx Shadow Rider that is pretty much ready to sweep their team because it does outspeed their entire team. And it, they wasn't able to get a second Trick Room, which was the big thing. I want to deny that second Trick Room as much as possible right here. And I did weaken all their Pokemon to pretty much where I needed it right here. I am able to go for the Behemoth Blade into the Calyx. I will be able to get an Astro Barrage off. And nothing can really save them. No Ally Switch. Uh, no Double Protect doesn't save them. Yeah, just Astro Barrage. Get some sweeps in. 
And yeah, Cal Shadow plus Zacian, of course, a really threatening combination right here. Really, anything that would have been able to threaten the Calyx could have just probably won this game too. But Blissey could have if I hit the Fire Blast, I guess. <laughs> but they protect Torkoal, which I guess, I mean, it doesn't matter. No matter what, they they are just uh, going to lose this game. I guess they're hoping for the throw here where I double into the Torkoal slot or misclick. I guess that's what they are going for. And it does make sense if that's the case, yeah. But always target down the Calyx is just a super safe play because I do get the KO on the Calyx right there. And the following will be able to finish off the, uh, the Palkia. All right. <laughs> Weakness Palsy Palkia. This is not what I was expecting, but uh, we were able to thankfully, thankfully be able to win this end game because of the fact we were able to sell out the trick him officially. Uh, we will finish off the game in style with Astro Barrage. The battle's going to be forfeited, and we will take this final game right here. And that is the show. A uh, Blissey. Uh, never thought I would actually be using this Pokemon in a VGC. I really never expected it, but it was kind of fun. Wonder Room was kind of a cool strategy here, and I just want to test it out. Would I recommend it? No, but was it fun? Yes. So if you did enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Leave a comment down below. It really does help me out. Anymore, check out the details of the team and the creator down below in the description you can find those details out but you can check out the rest of my series 12 content where there's a lot of fun teams and a lot of cool pokemon but that is going to be it for me have a great day people and until we bow again i'll catch y'all later